Greetings. In our previous video, we talked about how you can change the skin color of the character. Besides the skin, there is another part that changes drastically in color from person to person and that's hair. In this video, we are talking about changing the hair color in DAWS Studio. First of all, you need a character with some hair applied to them. I will be using the default to lose hair. You can see the colors and shape of the hair in the current texture shaded view. But it is important to always check everything in iRay Preview because this way it is much more accurate and true to how it will be seen on render. So now let's change the hair color. For the first method, select the hair and proceed to the materials section either in the smart content window or in the surfaces window, preset tab. They are exactly the same tabs, just located in different parts of DAW Studio for your convenience. Here we can see a lot of different colors available to us. I can simply double click on any and apply it to the character. And replace them with one another. Also, you should have noticed that there are strands options sprinkled everywhere. In addition to choosing the color for the whole hairstyle, I can control the color of some individual strands separately. You can see that there is a lot of most different variants for the hair colors, even some with the blends. But all of them are specific for this exact hair and other variants can have only a few color options or none at all. So what to do if you are in a situation like this? Worry not, because you can change color settings manually yourself using the editor tab in the surfaces window. Mainly we are interested in the diffuse color option, as it decides the color of the selected object. I just select the right color and it changes the hair. Works with absolutely any color. Though you have probably already noticed that the hair still fades from one color to another. This is because this editing is connected to the original preset that we applied to. And as we had a preset with a blend, it is still there. So if we change the preset and use similar color, it will look different this time. There is no blend. This works very similarly to how real world hair dyeing does. Meaning that if you apply a color to a lighter base, it will be bright and prominent. But if you apply it to darker hair, it does not change it that much and far less noticeable and bright. So you should mind which of the presets you are using. Something that you can do to improve this situation is to find here specular color and change it too. If changed to something similar to the diffuse color, it will look better. Specular color is the color of the light reflecting from the hair, so it is important. Also, you can make specular color different from your diffuse color. Overall you want to use preset with light colored hair if you plan to change it manually. I have here preset like this one with fully white hair and it should work perfectly. So I can apply it, choose a nice diffuse color and select a specular color that is similar, but a bit different to match it nicely. Next, we already talked about presets for strands that we can apply any of the colors separately to strands. Same with the manual changing, we can select this strand surface and change its settings such as diffuse color and specular color separately. A quite nice result with an interesting hairstyle. Another thing that you can do to help yourself with working on hairstyles is to visit a DAWS3D.com shop. 
Here we can find such items as FSL realistic hair shaders for eye ray and filament. It is a big collection of shaders for the hair with the most different colors and textures. To work with the hair, you will need more than just default variants, for example, the Paul hair for Genesis 8 and 8.1 males is a nice choice for the male figures. And for females, I like the D-Force NIRV straight long hair for Genesis 8 and Genesis 8.1 females. It supports D-Force, which is a big advantage. I can recommend fallow hair for Genesis 8 female as the short haired variants. It even has an add-on product colors for fallow hair that adds 12 beautiful color variants for it. It is a normal situation to meet an add-on product, such as this 2021 11 hair texture expansion. And it's important to understand that you need an original product for this to work, you can usually find it here in the required product section. So we also need 2021 11 hair for Genesis 8 and 8.1 females itself, if we want to use that add-on that adds 100 more color variants to it. Also, I would recommend you to visit our website, renderguide.com, where we talk about 3D design in general and Blender with DAWS Studio in particular. This video is based on the DAWS 3D Change Hair Color article, which may have more information about the topic, so consider giving it a read. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, to get more inspiration.